Okay, what we're looking at here, what we're getting ready to look at, is a little three-cylinder diesel. It's a Diatsu Vanguard. Take the rags off of it. I've taken the oil pan off. I'm rebuilding it. Getting it rebuilt. It's a diesel. It's a neat little engine. This was the one that was in the Kawasaki Ghoul. Get a better shot here. Or another angle. Hopefully I can see what I'm... There we go. Shooting here. There we go. It's a... Uh, like I say, it's a uh, Vanguard Diatsu three-cylinder diesel motor. It's rated at 953 cc. Uh, this... This engine is also turboed for other applications, I've recently learned. Um, this one here is not turboed. This engine is used on several um, applications for little tractors and such. This application is for the Kawasaki Mule. Can I shoot it right here? Maybe not. Uh, over here is another head I have for it. Replacement head. Yeah, I think this is the one. No, this is not the one. That's the old one. That's the old one. And this thing was misbehaving. It still ran when I pulled it apart or took it out of service. Um, it was acting funny for about two years. So uh, I got this engine replaced. And um, I, I was able to take it out. And after it was out, I be I stumbled across some parts, so I went and decided to uh, get the parts for it. What I'm going to do with it when I'm done, I don't know. But um, I'm not worried about that right now. This is just my hobby. There's the, the new head used. The valves on the other head, I don't like the way they look. There was a couple factors in it as to what uh, what what happened. Here's some other pieces. The uh, backing plate flywheel wheel pan. Uh, injector pump. You see it? Maybe? Right there. And uh, some gears on the shelf that came out of it. Push rods marked, labeled. Timing cover plate. Over here, somewhere, I have other parts as well I wouldn't mind sharing. Oh, all jammed up over here. Oh. No, that's not it. Just give me a moment. I'm all kind of fungled up over here. extra alternator. I didn't need it, but I have it. Ooh. 
Green Man Injector Pump. cylinder ah, kind of neat and somewhere I'll put that up here somewhere over here I've got some pistons somewhere Here we go. Piston for it. Hand me that uh, ruler right there. Oh, right there. I'm gonna measure this guy. Right there, lean. Right beside you. Cool. There you go. Okay, what we have here is just a run-of-the-mill old board of education. And. The uh, measurement across the top of it is a indeed impressive two and five eighths inch across. Seven eighths. Two and seven inch, I, I should say. I just lined it back up again the right way. That's impressive for this little thing. It would be neat to see if I could turbo it, but not right now. I just want to get it running again. I got some ideas for it. Get it running. Mm -hmm. oh, that would be it. Okay. Now, this engine right here, the reason why I pulled it apart was uh, it wasn't running the way it should run. It was only running good on one cylinder. The other two, they were picking it up. If you put a load on it or you sped it up, it was getting uh, harder to start, using more fuel than it should, and that's what told me to try to do something with it. I will be disassembling it some more and figure out what happened. I suspect at least a broken ring in there somewhere. If that be the case, I'm going to put all three new pistons in it, start all over again. It has less than a thousand hours on it. Um, it will be running. Mission should be completed around the spring. And you will be able to um, continue being posted on this. I also have the idea of test running it down here in my basement. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but I'm going to try it. It'll be quite interesting. Um, so this is going to be an interesting little project. Keep you posted. Any comments, please write it in. I'd appreciate the uh, input, uh, suggestions, opinions, whatever they, they should be. Thanks for looking.